14. Correct. It's day four of staying home for mother Amy Lockman and her two kids, Lydia and Caleb. Interesting. It's been tough. Tough. Trying to keep them busy and tough to explain what is happening, especially for six year old Caleb with autism. Trying to explain to him what's going on and having him understand why we can't have friends over and we can't go to places and play. I'm trying to do my best to keep him in a schedule. Good job. Amy is one of millions of parents trying to have those conversations with their kids. And I think that can be really especially challenging because we as parents and we as adults are searching for guidance. Dr. Krishnan Subramanian is a pediatrician at Hennepin Healthcare. He has some advice for parents who may be struggling. Asking, what do you know? How are you feeling? And letting them put words to it. And then I think it's really important to provide reassurance. We have medical professionals who are learning more about this virus every day. Giving kids that control and letting them re realize they're a big part in stopping this virus. That is a, that's a powerful moment. Krishnan says for parents of kids with special needs, it's important to try and mimic that routine from before, keeping them on some kind of a schedule. Schedules are so important to, to young people. Now do the next one. That is something Amy will try and do, no matter how long this takes. We just have to take it day by day. Alex Hagan, CARE 11 News. Well, doctors also say if you're having a tough time talking to your kids about this, you can reach out to their pediatricians or psychologists or their teachers for more guidance.